There were heart-wrenching moments in Queens Park today. And let's just take a moment here to warn you that the details coming up are graphic and disturbing. Two women who suffered abuse as children while in the care of the province shared their stories. CDB's Paul Bliss was there. Paul, what happened here? Ken, decades ago, these women were wards of the state. They were removed from their homes where they were being abused, put into foster care, and therefore uh, becoming uh, in the care of the province of Ontario. And then they were abused again. So now what's happening is they're launching a class action lawsuit. And according to the lawyers, the number of victims could be in the thousands. Hands shaking and tears in their eyes, these former wards of the Ontario government struggle to tell their stories. I was the happy child living with my grandmother, living with my family. Holly Papasape says she endured years of abuse after the province became her guardian. I told my children's aid worker and nothing was done. I was labeled a liar, a troublemaker. She's joined 200 others in a proposed class action suit against the Ontario government claiming terrible abuse when they were supposed to be out of harm's way. I was raped, sodomized, sexually assaulted, sexually humiliated in every way, shape or form. Tony Grand is another former ward of the Crown. She claims her children's aid worker turned a blind eye to the abuses she suffered as they moved her from home to home. The lawyers putting together this class action lawsuit claim there could be tens of thousands of victims, many of whom are entitled to compensation from the Criminal Injuries Compensation Board. These were helpless children who were victims of abuse and who suffered even more abuse while under the province's care. And as a result of that abuse and neglect, they were entitled to claim compensation. The government, as you heard, moved these ladies from home to home and they only do so upon making an investigation no one was ever punished for things that happened to me but me that's how i felt holly and tony say they not only want justice for their pain they want to help others who endured similar abuses the lawyers say Ontario deprived them of the right to seek compensation. And they now believe that compensation could be worth $110 million. The lawsuit has yet to be certified by the courts. That's it from Queen's Park reporting live. I'm Paul Bliss. Ken, Michelle, we'll send it back to you.